What's up, everybody, and welcome to the blog. Today, it's early morning, around around 9 o'clock. That's early for a night shift worker. <laughs> but I'm up here, Manchester, Tennessee. Come to the bank, guys. About to run in here, get some money, and head up here to Shane to drop this carburetor off to get it rebuilt. I'm about to run in the bank, and uh, I'll check back in in a second. All right, everybody. Um... I just got out of the bank, and uh, I'm not doing this to show off or nothing, but um, I'm just going to show you this and let y'all know, look, I'm serious. Obelisk is fixing to start up. We're going to hear it run for too long. Uh, hey, hey, y'all. I ain't been playing. I ain't playing games. That's all, hunters. Hey, it's about that time, guys. I ain't got a, but a little bit of time this morning, so I need to get back on the road and get up to Shane's and get this carburetor dropped off. I'll check in when we get there. everybody leaving Shane's machine shop uh, I didn't really do no recording in there because it is a business and a lot of people's stuff is in there they're covered up with work so I didn't you know just in case but the carburetors dropped off and paid for all I'm waiting on now is the phone call when it's done so we're doing it one thing at a time I'll check in with you here in just a minute what's up everybody uh, little change of plans there right before I was able to make another video to let you know what was going on uh, my work has spurts where it goes really busy at times and they have sent me to I guess it's about 30 minutes outside of Detroit Michigan yeah and I've been pretty busy uh, it's it's a good thing because I go back in a week to uh, Tennessee and I will have plenty of money with me to uh, make sure Obelisk starts and we get to hear it run and break it in and all that good stuff. So it's coming, guys. Just, you know how work goes. You know, gotta be, you gotta take care of your priorities, take care of your family. But uh, I have got to do some pretty cool stuff. Since I was up here, we actually went to uh, Autorama and I never heard of it until we got here. And I got to see uh, the Dirty 30 and meet Nick and Maddie. And they were just super cool people. It was worth a trip right there. But uh, here's, uh, here's a few clips of um, Autorama and all, some of the cool rides. There's no way I could have got all of them. There are so many rides. But here's a few rides from uh, Autorama. So check this out.
what's up everybody wasn't that cool a lot of cool rides at Autorama if you ever get a chance to go check it out it's a really cool event you know anything you could imagine you know any brand of car it was there it was a really neat experience but man uh I got a week and I'm going back to Tennessee uh my wife has picked up my carburetor for me uh I'll just wait until I get back so I can get some good Good photos of it and video and stuff so you can see it. But she sent me some pictures and man, it looks great. All cleaned up. It gave me some new gaskets and stuff. So the carburetor checked up off the list. It is good to go. So um, I'll definitely be showing that when I get back to Tennessee. Uh, I'll be heading back, like I said, in a week and we've got a lot of cool stuff coming. It's it's about time to hear this thing run finally. But I, I thank you guys for watching and hanging in here with me. And thank you for subscribing. There's more coming. Uh, the next few videos will definitely be cool stuff. Because everything else is cool, you know. The the transmission, engine, putting that, you know, putting it in the truck, putting the motor together, firing it up, you know. It's, it's going to be some cool stuff. So just hang in there with me, guys. And thank you for watching. And I'll see you on the next one.